All right, here is the video review for Studio Series Bumblebee from Transformers Rise of the Beasts, derived as part of a promotional mailer of free toys from Hasbro. To promote Rise of the Beasts, uh, super stoked to get that uh, here. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, but here's Bumblebee. He came in it too. We got Air Razor, Scourge, RC, Bumblebee, I feel like there's, and Battle Trap were the five Studio Series figures that we got in there. Uh, Battle Trap, of course, we'd already reviewed while back because I picked that one up for myself personally uh, as soon as I could because I think he looked cool and I still think he looks cool. I've uh, got animatronic Optimus Primal, uh, the, both Bumblebee and Optimus Primal ma roleplay masks which are actually cooler than I expected them to be. Um, some, some cool stuff anyway. Uh, well, and the weird Bumblebee with a bird that lives inside him. Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know if it's in the movie. haven't seen it yet. It came out today. Anyway, Bumblebee. He rolls. He's got a gun on his butt. He's got a sword under his butt. Um, but he rolls. He's got the cool roll bar. Um, now, proportionally, he feels a little skinny and long based on what the car should look like. And I did, like I said, I did also get the Beast Mode Bumblebee, I think is what they're calling it. I'm going to pop the sword off of here just to give his car mode. And this car mode is, like I said, big and chunky. He does have feet. Well, we'll review him later. Mismatch yellow here on the paint. But, uh, is a, is a big wheel off-road bumblebee. Same kind of, you see the same kind of grill, but I think proportionally, this one seems skinny this way and too long this way for to the actual car. And this one seems too, about, actually, it, it feels like the width is right here, but it feels too chumpy, chumpy, chunky this way. And, and you, from the side, you can really see it. So neither one of them proportionally super correct, but uh, hey, they're toys. Have fun with him. Bumblebee's probably going to live in robot mode most of the time anyway. So, on a transformation, he rolls. We'll take off his weapon here and his sword. His sword, which is completely unpainted. Um, I don't know if there is apparently, like, his face mode is not, his face is not painted great either. There is apparently a version that has more paint on the face, and I don't know if it also maybe came with some paint on the blade of the sword, or if it just came solid yellow sword. I don't know. Anyway, here he is in vehicle mode. Rolls all right. Fun little sports car, like I said. Although, again, he looks a little skinny this way, and that, that's making his uh, grill. Like, it actually wouldn't look too bad, except that it makes this roll bar grill thing look weird proportionally, just based on what I've seen in uh, shots of the, of the car in the film. But anyway, transform it. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, sim a standard Bumblebee Camaro transformation. Lift his arms up. And you can get, open up his doors. Come here, you open the doors up. This whole middle assembly, a section assembly comes up. Come on. And out of the way. Should, at any rate. Come on. There we go. Come on. You've got to. There we go. Okay, this. There we go. Get his pieces here out of the way and then you can lift that up and back and then you can open up the wheels bring the arms up which allows you to get the whole um this torso assembly down I feel like his arm should come up higher than that there we go Just, there we go the clip up into place like that these can angle you can angle them angling them that way helps get the piece out but i think they're I think they're supposed to angle up like that But this side doesn't want to do that, so maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Anyway, let's put his legs apart. This piece folds up into here. This piece folds up into there. Kind of fill. Uh, it, it's nice that they, they got some really nice cutouts here, so it actually does sit nicely inside the core of his body and make that look less hollow. It still is. You can see right through it from certain angles, but I appreciate what they did there with exactly how that piece folds up and, and tucks away. Bring his arms down, and then his feet. You gotta rotate this up out of the way, and then the feet come down like that, rotate forward, and then this little piece with the rear window should fold all the way in. There we go, bring a foot all the way down like that. Should fold in to fill in that leg. I don't know why we're having, there we go, like that. And this should actually fold the other way to give him taillight feet heels. So I bring that down, bring it down like that. 
Again, there's a hinge at the foot and a hinge in the at the ankle, so make sure that comes all the way down so you can fold this piece into the leg like that. Bring it around, bring it around the other way, and flip the heel around the back. I guess, I mean, I guess you could have the heel do it. Oh, you don't want it like that because that peg will, this foot could do it. Anyway, bring his legs down. And then you've got a pretty run-of-the-mill standard bumblebee. Um, the doors are posable. Again, the windows. One day I wish on a bumblebee this size they'd figure out a way to get the pin in there so you could fold the windows down or, or slide them down into the door. It's a minor complaint, but it's one that I would like to see happen. Um, I do wish the wheels here, they stick straight out the front of his legs, but whatever. But he's a, he's a friend-shaped bumblebee. He's got a ball joint neck, ball joint shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, no wrist swivel to speak of. Does that... Does he have a, yeah, he does have a waist swivel, ball joint hip with a thigh swivel just below it, hinge knee to about 90 degrees, and then you got some side to side on the ankle. No front to back, which is interesting there, but I guess it's the way it just transforms. Hmm. Yeah, so. Again, there may be a version with more paint on his face. I don't know, I, I don't think this is the fuller paint version, but I've only, because it's the only version I've seen. I remember seeing a picture that there's a face with more paint on it variant found, uh, but I didn't look at it closely enough. I just saw the headline, so I don't know if this is it or not. I, looking at it, I would hope that it's not the better of the two, because uh, I feel like they could, it could be approved upon, but anyway. Um, and then his weapons. The gun is molded so that it really only goes on... You can... No, you can't even. It only goes on this arm like that. It's specifically cut out to go on his right arm. You can give him his gun. The sword can go on either. Obviously not at the same time as the gun. But it does have a, a double peg there. They can peg onto his arm like that. So he can have his sword. And his gun at the same time. Very bright yellow. Like he's a much brighter yellow than I'm used to Bumblebee being. Um, and it's clearly plastic choice. Because in the in the movie it looks like he's got a, the same kind of natural. Slightly orangier yellow uh, than what's presented here on the toy itself. I think, I, th I think I would like this better. I mean, I realize I know that that's his look in the movie. I think I would like this version of the toy better as a bumblebee that didn't have the roll bar on it. Because while he is, I think, stretched lengthwise a little bit from the actual car model, I don't know that it would be as visually obvious as that roll bar makes it look uh, on this toy. His robot mode is, is, is nice. I wish... Again, a little more paint on the face, a slightly more accurate yellow, and maybe some paint on the blade of, of the sword would really go a long way for me on this guy. I, I really do like his robot mode. The, the wheels stick out a little bit, like I said, on the shins, but um, I can almost live with that uh, because I, 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 li I like his basic shape. Anyway, there is Bumblebee Studio Series from Rise of the Beasts. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, and we'll see you soon. I still got a, I've shot most of the videos of the box. I have not done the masks, the animatronic primal, or the, uh, the beast mode bumblebee that you just saw. I'll probably do those in the next few days. Although I'm, I'm saying I'm going to shoot them in the next few days. Like I said, in some other videos, by the time you see them, they'll have been shot for a, a week or two by, by the time they actually come out. But anyway, I appreciate all of you all. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with me all these years. It really is a privilege to be able to do this. Um, even part-time, the way I'm doing it now. Uh, and so for, for, the, for those of you who hang around and uh, listen to me ramble and rant and give even, even a semblance of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a flying fig about my opinion, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you're all having a great day.